Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to our at home body weight program. Today we have some basketball skill work for you guys today. Really excited about this one. We're bringing it outside for you guys. Now, before we get into our skill work, it's really important that we hit our mobility so that we feel stronger and more mobile as we start to go through these drills. So let's jump right into it. We're starting with our hip circles. So what we wanna do here is find some single leg stability as we lift our leg out in front. You can see Christian staying tall through the top of his head, fighting for his balance here, and he's making these circles small and controlled. We're gonna do about 10 in each direction. Try to really lock out this leg that is up. And if you can't hold it quite as high as Christian, that's okay. Just hold it a little bit lower so you can, keep, uh, you can lock out that leg. That's super important. So again, we'll move to the other side here with our forward hip circles. Really checking in with that breath as we get started here, getting the whole body involved as we start to go through these hip circles. Maybe feeling the hips starting to work a little bit already. From here, we're going with our lateral hip circles. So we'll go back to side number one. We'll lift our leg out to the side. Try to keep these toes facing forward. Once again, we're working to keep this spine long. So tall through the top of our head. We're going 10 circles one way, 10 circles in the opposite direction. Try to challenge yourself to see how high you can bring that leg, but feel free to drop it if you start to fall over too far to the side. We'll switch over, we'll do the same thing on the next leg. Again, this leg that is planted, that foot that is planted, that glute is really working to keep you stable. This other hip is really working as we go through these nice controlled hip circles. Good, again, fighting for that balance, breathing, excellent job. Next up are our full circles, okay? So we're going to lift our leg out in front, come to the side, rotate and kick that leg all the way back behind. Then reset, we'll come up, we'll come out laterally and then back behind. Good, we'll do this one more time. Again, fight to stay tall. There you go, excellent job. <coughs> Keep that leg locked out and then we'll switch up sides here, okay? Other side, we're gonna go leg locked out, we'll come up, we'll come out, we'll rotate and we'll kick. There you go, you can see Christian's fighting for that balance. These never really get any easier. We get better at them, but we're always challenging ourselves. Challenging ourselves to really work on that leg staying locked out. See how high we can bring the leg. How well can we control that rotation? Again, this is a full body movement. Everything is involved here, even though we're specifically focusing on the lower body, the upper body is working as well. Awesome. So from here, we're gonna grab our basketball. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go into some figure eights. All right, yeah, go ahead and get them. All right, so from here, just going in between our legs, we're gonna work to keep our eyes up. All right, so we're gonna go for 30 seconds here. Again, we're gonna go forward and then bringing that ball back behind us. Now, you can start to pick up your pace. Maybe take your gaze right to left. Good, but again, just stay low in this squat. Keep that core nice and tight. And then again, you can start to speed it up as you feel comfortable here. Beautiful, we're going for five more seconds. Try to keep those eyes up as well, guys. Try to find something around you. Keep those eyes up. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Other direction now? We're gonna switch the direction. So if you were keeping your eyes up, now we're gonna challenge you to look side to side as if you're looking for your teammates, right? So here we go, 30 seconds. If you wanna switch the direction, that's right here, okay? So if you were feeling comfortable with going forward to back, now we're going back to in front. There we go. Nice. Good. Trying to keep that vision, right? Keep those eyes up, chest up. Look from side to side. See what's going on. Breathe. You got it. You got it. Going for another five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Good. Awesome. Those legs are feeling it a little bit right there. Next up is our sprinter lunge. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a single leg balance here. You can place your back foot on the ground. If you need a little bit of help, yep. Or you can lift the back toes off to challenge that balance a little bit more. We're gonna do circles here. Okay, so 30 seconds. We're going in three, two, one. We've got a soft bend in this knee. The foot is flat. Again, this back leg, I can place those toes on the ground. Once again, I'm gonna try to keep my eyes up. Try to keep this front leg nice and stable. Don't allow this knee to cave in. Use your glutes, pull that knee out. Good. Again, maybe try to bring those toes off the ground for that back leg. Nicely done. Ooh, that makes it a lot more challenging, but we've got this. 
Ten more seconds. Good. Keep it up. I'm going to try to speed mine up. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Other awesome. side. Now, right. guys, real quick here, too. You can see I've already lost the ball a couple times. Hopefully, you guys are pushing yourself and trying to go as quick as you can. So don't be comfortable in doing this, but really push yourself to the point where you're almost losing the ball at least one or two times each, each uh, movement. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It just means we're pushing ourselves. Ready? Three, two, one. For me, I'm going to start just slow so I can get my balance, and then I'll lift my back toes off the ground, and then I'm going to speed up my ball movement. Again, maybe I'm looking right to left, and if I need to bring that back toe to the ground every once in a while, that's okay. That's where I'm challenging myself. Good job. We've got another 10. Come on. Good. Try to keep your chest up here. Spine stays long. Push those hips back. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Awesome, guys. Go work. Go work. Okay. Shake that off for a second. Next up, we're going with our sprinter lunge, and then we're going ball around the front leg and then around our belly. So do this a couple more times, Christian. We're going to go, if the left leg is in front, right hand is going to come in between, we'll come up, and then right hand goes behind. So again, right hand in between, right hand behind. Once again, as we go into that lunge, try to take your back toe off the ground. Okay, work on that single leg balance, but if you need to, you can always set that back toe down for a little bit of support. Okay, 30 seconds here. Three, two, one. Now we're really working full body, a lot of coordination, a lot of balance. If you've got a partner next to you, challenge them, keep them accountable. There you go, try to keep your focus, try to keep your focus. A lot moving here, a lot going on. We still want to think about movement quality and these ball handling skills. There you go. Good. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Almost there, guys. Here we go. Moving through this single leg hinge, kicking that back leg back, and then standing tall. Come on. Five, four, three, woo, two, one. Beautiful. Other side. So now, right leg is in front. Left hand comes through. We come up. Left hand goes behind the back. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, can we push our hips back as we come on down? Can we keep our spine long, our eyes up, chest up? That's something that we're always working on. Try not to look down at the ball. Maybe look side to side now. It's going to make this single leg balance a lot more challenging. But that's what we're here for. There we go. Five, four, three, two, Ooh. one. Awesome. awesome. Good job. Good job. All right, y'all. Take a little breather. Shake that off. Next up, we're going sprinter lunge. Ball around the leg into a pistol squat with an overhead reach. So we're going to break this down. Beautiful. Let's do it again. Same thing we were doing. Okay. Left leg is in front. Right hand comes through. When we come up, we're gonna take this right leg out in front now for a single leg squat. Go as low as you feel comfortable with. We're really challenging the ankles, the knees, and the hips here. As you go into that single leg squat, the ball can stay at your chest. The challenge is pressing overhead though, okay? 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. So again, we're working single leg balance. We come down, we go in between, we come up, we work on this single leg pistol squat with an overhead press. Getting a little fancy here. Again, go as low as you feel comfortable with and then start to challenge that. As you come into this pistol squat, you can even take this heel to the ground for a second if you need to. Nicely done. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, other side, okay? Right leg in front, going underneath with the left hand, and then left leg kicks in front for that pistol. Three, two, one, here we go. Now, remember, when we start, we go slow. Make sure that we've got the movement quality, and then we can pick up our pace. Once again, can you keep your eyes up? 
can you look right to left? Woo, that's always going to add in that extra challenge. We've got this. Nicely done. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work, Ooh, good work. Awesome job. All right. Now, we've got some behind the back passes coming over the shoulder here, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have some fun with this one. So, it'll look like this. We're gonna stand tall. We'll go one hand behind the back. We're gonna flick that ball up. Nice little roll off the fingertips there. Try to catch it with your opposite hand. If you need to too, guys, you can allow your body to kind of twist and turn to help you get that ball over, especially on your off hand. Yeah, no worries there, okay? Let's just have some fun with this. Let's try it out. Three, two, one. We've got 30 seconds each side. We've got this little flick Whoops. coming up and over and then catch with the opposite hand. Woo. My shoulder keeps getting yep. in the way. There we That's go. That's all right. Remember guys, there's nothing wrong with losing the ball. There is no thing as a wrong rep. We learn every rep. So make your adjustment. Just like Natalie said, she was hitting her shoulder a little bit. Now she's not anymore. So make your adjustment. That's all about the game of basketball as well, right? And life. We got to be able to respond and not react Woo! and get mad. Great job, Nat. A little too much ump on that one. Three, Le two, one. Awesome. Opposite hand now. And again, if you were doing your good hand, this off hand might be a little different for you, but that's all right. Keep going, okay? All right, here we go. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ooh. A little rusty on these. Ooh. So this is a nice challenge for me. For some reason, I feel like my left hand is actually better. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Again, a little flick of the wrist. Let it roll up the fingertips. Ooh. Try Ooh. to come over the opposite shoulder. Ooh, there we go. Catch it with the opposite hand. Ten more seconds. Ooh. Nice. Five, four, Ooh. three, two, one. Good awesome. work. Good work. Good job. All right, y'all. So last one for this section is our single leg isometric or a hold in a hinge position with our ball going around our back okay so we've got our single leg hinge yep fight for that balance spine stays long chest stays proud we're going around our back okay 30 seconds on each side three two one so we push our hips back we load up our hamstrings and our glutes chest is proud this back leg is kicking back try not to touch the ground with those toes but if you need some help you need some assistance that's totally okay. Again, drive your hips back. Three, two, one. Switch up your direction, guys. Same oh. leg, same leg. Same side. Nice job, nice job. Again, can we look right to left? Can oh. we look up and down? Try not to look at the ball, though. There we go. Three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Now we're gonna get into our next leg, y'all. All right, ready? Three. Two, one. We go into this single leg hinge. This back leg kicks back. We've got the around the back pass here. Keeping that belly nice and tight. Again, the whole body is working to stay stable here. Maybe speeding up that pass. Good. Getting those arms and really working. Halfway, guys. Halfway. Switch it up. Other way. Ooh. Here we go, guys. Almost there, y'all. Keep breathing. Keep moving. About five, four, Three, two, one. Awesome job, everybody. Great work, Natalie. Now, Nat's gonna grab a chair here. If you have a chair, go ahead and grab one. Now, you don't need a chair. If you have another basketball, if you have a book, if you have anything, anything around you, just kind of use it out in front of you for a little reference when we're gonna do our drills, okay? So the first part we have, guys, is our static work with our footwork, okay? So no dribbling whatsoever here today. First thing we have is our front jab. Now I'm gonna center this chair to you guys. When I'm jabbing here, guys, let's make sure that we're not just jabbing to the side. If this is our defender, I wanna jab right off of his hip. I wanna make him believe like I'm actually trying to go to the basket. So when you're doing your jabs, don't just step your foot to the side, be able to drop that leg and drop your hip. Sound good, y'all? We're gonna go 10 jabs. I'm gonna grab 10 one way, and then Nat will go ahead and grab 10 one way as well, okay? Let's go together here. One, two, three, nice. four, five, six, 
Then Natalie will go. You guys keep on going. Get your next leg now. Two, and you can see as we're jabbing, Nat's not letting her chest fall forward, okay? Her chest is staying back as the hand and your ball, along with that leg, is moving. So remember, your chest, as we're going through our jabs here, okay, guys? Let's make sure that our chest isn't going over our knee. If we're going over our knee, then all of our body weight is going in that one direction. That's not good for us during this drill. Now we're gonna get the next one, jab and cross. So I'm going to, again, jab, cross. Cool, my back leg stays flat here the whole time, okay? Jab, cross. I got 10 on this one side. Jab, cross, that's three. Jab, cross, that's four. Jab, cross, that's five, halfway. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Almost there, three more. Jab, cross, jab, Cross, jab, cross. Get your neck side with Natalie here now, okay? Jab and cross. Beautiful. Go slow in the beginning. If you see that your foot is stepping to the side and not really stepping forward when you jab or you cross, then go slower. Remember, habits take time to build. So if you've been in the habit of stepping to the side and not jabbing forward, it's gonna take some time to learn. Great job, Natalie. Beautiful. Almost there. Beautiful. Two more. There you go. Heart jab. Beautiful. Awesome work, y'all. Now what we're going to do is two jabs. So we got to be methodical. It's not all about being fast all the time. Let's control our pace. So my first jab is going to be short and hard. Hard. I'll pause for a second and then bigger step past my defender, okay? Remember. Small, big. Look at my pace and look how I drop. Here we go, get 10. Almost there. Awesome, now guys, get your second side here with Natalie. Awesome work, Nat. Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome, great job, guys. Again, we got 10 on each side here, guys. Beautiful. Great job. One more. Here we go, guys. Awesome. Great job, y'all. Now what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to pretend like our defender's a little bit closer. So we're going to get closer to our object, okay? We're going to step over. So if I'm going to the left side, I'm moving that with my right leg. Over with my right leg, okay? And then once I come back, I'm going to have a hard jab on the opposite side of my object, okay, guys? Again, so I'm here. Step over. Jab. Remember, as I go through this, you can play with two things. You can stay low the whole time or drop low on the step over, come back up, and then drop back down. Remember, playing with our pace, playing with our tempo is always a great drill for us, okay? Step over, drop. Step over, drop. I'm creating space, drive through. Space. Drive through, and again, if your foot is coming to the side, that's not what we want. That's not efficient. I wanna be right off my defender's hip. Again, 10 in one direction, and then Natalie will go ahead and jump in with you. Awesome, let's get 10 on the next side, y'all. Almost there, guys. A Little bit less, we got about five minutes to go. We're almost done. There you go, hard jabs every time. Keep breathing. There you go. Look for that perfect angle every time. Look for your tempo every time. Are you moving at the same pace? Or are you accelerating, decelerating, and then accelerating again? That's what we want to be looking for, guys. Awesome job, Natalie. One more. Beautiful. Awesome. Good work, y'all. Now what we're going to do is, again, same thing. Last one. I'm stepping over. Jab. Cross. Okay, guys? Again. 
step over, jab, cross. So now I'm working both sides at the same time, okay? Again, step over, jab, cross. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Again, start to play with your tempo. Step, jab, cross. Jab, cross. Boom. Here we go, 10 on one side, guys. There you go, getting really close now. Here we go. Jab. Remember guys, on that jab, do not let your chest go over your knee. That's not gonna be good for you. 10 on the next side, guys. Here we go. Last one right here, Nat. Here we go. Great job, Nat. Here we go, now you're doing great. Great job, everybody. Keep it up, y'all. Yeah. Remember, this might seem so simple, working on footwork without dribbling, but guys, we can never do the basics enough. Everyone, I'm sure, loves and adores people like Kobe Bryant, people like Michael Jordan, and believe me, they weren't just doing the fancy things in the gym. They were taking time to make sure that your foundation is perfected and respected. Great job, Natalie. Almost there. Beautiful. Great one job, y'all. One more. Here we go, guys. Step over, jab, cross. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Now, we got one more here. A little bit more dynamic, okay? So, what we're going to do now is work on our stepping into our shot. Not stepping into a shot with a jump stop, but stepping in with our inside foot. One, two, or on the next side, right foot first, one, two, okay? So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna start back here and we're just gonna alternate, okay? I'm gonna go to the right side, left side, right side, left side, right side. I'm gonna get a total, guys, of 10, five on each side, okay? So I'm here with two feet. I'm gonna step in, one, two, that's it. And then Natalie will go and she'll do the same deal on the same side. Run into it. Yep, and then again, if I'm gonna call Natalie out, we're gonna go one, two here, okay? Not a jump stop. I'm glad that she did that though. One, two, okay? Good job, Matt. One, two, there you go. And if you, if you have to take those steps going into it, there's nothing wrong with that. One, two. Catching in that low position every time. Here we go. There you go. So gearing up for your shot so we don't have to take time to drop. As I'm going, I'm already loaded into my shot to come straight on up. Here we go, Nat. Yes, nice, good work, Nat. Coming straight at it. One, two. We got one more time on this side, guys. One more time. Nice, Natalie. Here we go, Nat. Nice, beautiful. Now onto the next side, okay? Running in. One, two. Right, left here now for us. Yes, nice, awesome work, Nat. Good job. Nice, here we go again. Nice, there you go. There you go, one more time, guys. One last time. Okay, guys, last drill for the day. I might have said that one was the last one. I always say that, though. It's one of my famous jokes, okay? Now, we're going to do the same thing. Left, right, shot fake, and then I'm gonna come all the way back around. Right, left, shot fake, and then I'll step away and let Natalie go, okay? So again, one, two, one, two. Look how tight I am, really tight to this chair. So be efficient with your movement, okay? Stay low and drop the shoulder. One, two, stay low, one, two, beautiful. Here we go, one, two, and across, one, two. One, two, there you go, awesome work. One, two, one, two. There you go, way to stay low. Great job, Nat. Shot fake. Nice, great job. Good work, Nat. Here we go, oh, my bad. Nice. Last one here. 
Awesome, guys, last five on this side now. Way to stay low, y'all. There you go. Good job, Nat. Awesome job. There you go. One, two. One, two. Go. One, two. One, two. Last one here. Here we go. Awesome work. Great job, Nat. Give me some. Yeah. Guys, awesome work. If you haven't finished yet, keep working. If something felt a little challenging for you, okay, then do it over again. There's nothing wrong with being uncomfortable with something that you do a lot. Remember, we're just providing another perspective for you. There's nothing wrong with challenging the way that you're doing things right now. So challenge yourself, put yourself in an uncomfortable situation so we can continue to get better every day. You guys, have a great one. Thank you for joining us.